we have observed the happenings in Sudan with regards to the ouster of Omar al-Bashir through the People's Revolution and the subsequent hijacking of the revolution by the military. We have noted with horror the violent manner in which the Sudanese military has attempted to break the people who stand by their demand for civilian rule. Reports indicate that unwarranted attacks perpetrated against the people in the June 3rd massacre have resulted in at least 120 murders, over 500 injured, more than 40 recorded cases of rape and a large number of people missing. Two, the political situation in Sudan is of concern to all well-meaning Africans across the world, consistent with our global solidarity as black people against injustice, anti-black violence and oppression. Three, military brutality of peaceful civilians exercising their inalienable political rights is condemnable and should be immediately stopped. Four, all rights and privileges including access to internet, radio and other communication avenues should be restored without any delay. Five, the suspension of Sudan by the African Union is a good step. However, it falls far short of taking concrete steps to ensure that the people's revolution is not stolen. Six, the only sustainable solution to the crisis is the immediate return to civilian rule. We call on the Union and individual African states to break them and to make more meaningful efforts to bring it about. Seven, the interference by rogue nations such as Egypt, Saudi Arabia and the UAE as among others whose support for civilian massacre makes them complicit must be condemned by all right-thinking people. We also condemn the Canadian lobbying firm Dickens and Madsen Incorporated for signing a six million dollar deal to seek government funds and diplomatic recognition for the military leader Hemeti whose danger we are responsible for, among other things, the atrocities committed in Darfur. No amount of democratic, dim, diplomatic polishing will wash away the blood of those unjustly killed and the millions whose lives and futures are being shattered for the selfish desire of a few to cling on to power. Sudanese lives matter. Yeah. Yes. We stand with the Sudanese people and call for their revolution to be given back to them to build a democratic and prosperous nation befitting of the glory of the civilization of all. We are not free until we are free. We are not free until we are free. This is signed by the coalition in solidarity with the people's revolution in Sudan. Thank you. Chabai! Chabai! So for African people, we understand the word Sudan means black people. When we say Bilad as Sudan, you're saying the land of black people. So how in the world, in this day and age, you have black people in their own land being shut down by these Arabs and their lackeys who think that they are Arabs, even though some of them are even blacker than a thousand midnights. But here in this day and age, you have black people being killed in Sudan, the land, the realm of black people. We understand when you look up Global Slavery Index that there are almost half a million black people enslaved right now in Sudan. This isn't a thing of the past. This is beyond the massacres. This is the treatment of black people in our own land, in Africa. Africa means land of the black people. So in this time, how can you have black people being shot, killed, stabbed, raped in public, in front of everyone? This is something that we cannot stand for in these different cages, these Berlin conference cages called Ghana, called Nigeria, called Sudan, called whatever, all of this is the land of black people. We must free the land of black people. We stand with Sudan. We understand when we saw the movie, I Am Slave, we saw a woman who was captured in a modern day raid, a raid to enslave black people. She was taken to Khartoum and then she was taken to London. This is right now, right now, in the land of black people. We will not stand for this. So for we, we say that we stand with Sudan. We stand in solidarity and we will not allow for this to happen. We don't say, oh, it's Ghana that's standing. It's all black people throughout the world. Whether you're in Haiti, whether you're in Jamaica, whether you're in so-called Sudan or Ghana or Nigeria or South Africa, wherever you are, if you know that you are a black person, then you stand with your brothers and sisters there in Sudan. So we all are standing with Sudan in solidarity. Joe Boy! Hey! Joe Boy! Hey! Joe Boy! Hey! Joe Boy! hey! hey!
Cho boy. We are opposed to thieves in every kind. Food thieves, clothing thieves, property thieves, democracy thieves, human rights thieves. And on this occasion, we are addressing the thieves of Sudan, the thieves that have held hostage the revolution of the people of Sudan. We are telling them in the face and in truth that we are not with them. Africa is not with them. They should do what is needful by retaining the rights of the people to a democratic nation or a democratic society to themselves. At this material time, every African looking forward to prosperity or to experiencing economic freedom in their lifetime must be interested necessarily in any and everything that is happening in any other African nation. Chaboy! Hey! We cannot continue to see ourselves in the cages of 1884, as Dr. Cambon has rightly pointed. To see ourselves as Ghanaians, to see ourselves as Ugandans, to see ourselves as Togolese. We are Africans, first and foremost. And this is why this solidarity is very much important and needed. Choboy! Hey! Choboy! Hey! Choboy! Hey! Choboy. hey. hey. hey.